Hey guys, welcome to another Elf History video. So, as many of you know, over the years it's been debated on the uh, about the proper spelling of Elvis's middle name, which is Aaron. And what I mean by that is some people argue it should be spelt with one A, and there was people that um, argue that it should be spelt with two A's. And there's a valid uh, argument for both sides and so how this all started really is um, when Elvis was born Vernon uh, wanted Elvis's middle name to uh, be the first name of his best friend Aaron Kennedy and Vernon's best friend Aaron Kennedy spelled his name with two A's so now, when Elvis was born, Dr. William Hunt, who delivered Elvis, uh, originally wrote in his physician's record, um, Evis, actually, with no L, E-V-I-S-A-A-R-O-N, Aaron Presley. But later on, um, the birth certificate, um, the legal birth certificate was changed to Elvis, the proper spelling, and Aaron with one A. And so now that's how it stayed for a good part of Elvis's life. The original birth records. Yes. I bought those in Memphis from Dr. Hunt's daughters. Okay. Okay. Dr. And Hunt delivered Elvis. Delivered and Elvis. His, and right. His brother. And Vernon couldn't say Elvis. He always called him Evis. Evis. So on the original birth record, there's no L in Elvis. It's Evis. E V I S. Mm -hmm. So you know Vernon must have been there. And there was two A's on that one. And it was and E V I S. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. what happened? What Dr. Hunt's daughters told me is that they were there and helped deliver and the one baby came out at four in the morning he was stillborn that was jesse yes the doctor filled out the paperwork put on his hat and coat and started to walk out the door and they said wait a minute doctor there's another one and they said he turned around and real slow he said i reckon not and he started to go well, but doctor we can see his head and he went back and delivered elvis and that was at 4 35 in the morning but the that original paperwork was evis aaron with two a's mm. then the birth certificate when it came out was corrected and um until about maybe 1966 now if you guys um go back and you see certain videos um you can see him being drafted into the army like his if you see, if you go, look really close on like his duffel bags, it's spelled Aaron with one A. And um, also RCA, a lot of the records they released with um, Elvis's full name on it, spelled it with one A. So that was the case for a while. But um, according to Billy Smith, um, these are his exact words from 1966 as far as I know. Um, Billy said, I was talking to Elvis about religion one day and he brought up the name Aaron. I said, that's something I've always wondered, Elvis. How come you spell Aaron with only one A when it's two A's in the Bible? Um, because Elvis might have been named for Vernon's friend Aaron Kennedy, but he always referred to it as a Hebrew name and how Aaron was the brother of Moses. And he said, well, Billy, back then I was, when I was growing up, a lot of people around Tupelo didn't spell right. And then Elvis looked over at Vernon and said, as a matter of fact, Daddy, from now on, I want my name written with two A's. The Aaron spelt with two A's, especially on legal documents. So at that point in time, in 1966, according to Billy Smith, his cousin, um, Elvis wanted the name Aaron to be spelt the proper way. Now, um, and you could tell he actually meant this because I did a little bit of research and I came up with a couple of documents from about 1972. And if you guys look close, you could see um, on Elvis's 
divorce paper, he signs it with two A's. And there's also in a divorce, there's a supplement to property settlement agreement that I found um, between him and Priscilla. And he also signed that with two A's as well. And these are legal documents, obviously. So it's clear, at least at this point in 1972, that Elvis was signing all his legal documents with the two A's in Aaron. So what my conclusion is, is that this is the way that Elvis wanted it. You know, not only from what Billy said, but there's the proof right there in the documents that he was signing, you know, everything with the two A's and Aaron. So now, for many years, there was, you guys, I'm sure you guys have heard of this. There was um, the dispute on the headstone. And for the people that uh, think that Elvis faked his death, um... They seem to think that that's why AA, the two A's, was spelled on Aaron on his uh, gravestone. But that's not the truth. The truth of it is number one, you know, with the proof right here that I'm showing you guys, that's the way Elvis wanted it spelled. So Vernon, knowing this, had it spelt like that on his gravestone. And then, um, now you guys have been to Graceland or you can go on Google and look the marker that's outside of Graceland by the wall by the front gates it says Elvis's full name they changed that to the two A's in Aaron also and they did this out of respect for Elvis so you know in case you guys uh, anybody out there that was wondering you know you know if you go to if you're making a video or if you're doing anything about Elvis and you want to include his middle name um, I personally do it with the two A's because it's obvious that's the way that Elvis wanted it spelt. I mean, I think there's no wrong answer to this because legally on his birth certificate it says one A. But I prefer to do it with the two A's because I know, um, like it shows on the legal documents, that that's how Elvis wanted it. And I don't believe he ever had it legally changed. That I'm not sure about. Um, I have to find out more details about it. But, you know, the point of this whole thing is um, when I do videos, I try to respect what Elvis wanted. And it's fairly obvious that he wanted his middle name, Aaron, to be spelt with two A's. So, the, in, in a certain way, this kind of debunks that whole... Uh, um, he faked his death theory with the two A's on his gravestone. Uh, number one, if he faked his death, why would he want to leave a clue? <laughs> if anybody faked their death, why would they want to leave a clue? Uh, that, to me, that just, that goes with all the other nonsense that, you know, with people saying that type of stuff. But now you know for sure, in case you were curious all these years, if you look at these documents, Elvis was signing it with two A's. Like I said, because that is the way he wanted it. And that's the way um, I choose to do it. You don't have to if you make a video or something. You're right either way, in my opinion. Legally, it's right with the 1A. But morally, for me, um, because I do things for Elvis, I'm doing this out of respect for the way he wanted things. So... When I spell Elvis Aaron Presley, that's why I do it in the two A's. Alright, so I hope maybe this helped some of you guys. If you were curious about it, I mean, I don't know if you know anybody ever really thought that deeply about this. Any of you guys did? I don't know. But, you know, for me, I always wanted to uh, make sure that, you know, if I... Because I, I have put up stuff where people... I put two A's in the Aaron and people are like no no that's wrong you know it's only one A you know like they'll correct me on it but you know that's part of the reason why I made this video so you know there's no misunderstanding as to why I spell it that way and like I said that's just um 
that's just my way of honoring Elvis is to do things how he wanted them. And the proof is right there. The proof is right there in his own signature with the two A's that that is the way he wanted it. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tidbit of information. <laughs> Maybe it cleared some things up. I don't know. But, I mean, uh, like I said, you know, I don't believe there's a wrong answer to this. I believe it's just how you choose to um, honor Elvis, really, when it comes down to it. Because uh, I think both ways are correct. That's just my opinion. Okay? So, all right, guys. I hope everybody's doing well. I thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. And... When you're done watching the video, if you wouldn't mind giving that like button a quick smash, I'd really appreciate it because it does help me out. And also check your, um, if you guys aren't getting notifications for my videos, just go into your subscriptions on your phone and next to my channel, just tap on the bell and this way you get all the notifications every time I post a video. Okay, because I don't know if every, all you guys are getting the notifications. All right. So, all right. I hope everybody has a great day. Um, as always, TCB, God bless.